Welcome back, guys. Uh, Shane, uh, guys talking cars. Uh, I was uh, perusing the news, uh, automotive news, uh, this morning, and uh, fresh off uh, the uh, press is the uh, announcement by Stellantis that the uh, Belvedere, Illinois assembly plant will be uh, going to a idle status which is simply means closing down without uh, indefinite plans as of February 28th. I can certainly include some of these uh, links, uh, but you can uh, Google top stories and it comes right up. So this one, this one bothered me. And, and the reason is, um, I, I'm a Dodge, I'm a Dodge fan, not necessarily a Stellantis fan when they took over uh, because of their vision to you know, go to this clean energy and electrification. And uh, let, let me back up a little bit. So this plant uh, opened in 1965, originally had about 4,000 workers. Um, as of 93, it went down to about 2,500 workers. Currently it has about 1,340 uh, employees. So it's uh, a lot of employees, 1,340 employees and their families. And they currently make the uh, Jeep Cherokee. So Jeep Cherokee is a big, big seller for, for uh, um, FCA. Uh, I've never owned a Jeep Cherokee. You see a ton of them around, and they uh, they make a ton of them. Um, apparently, the cost of electrification. So, these are gas internal combustion engine Jeep Cherokees, and they're saying that the cost of electrification is so expensive that they have to shut down a non-electrification plant that's been a staple for them. Okay, so here's, here's my dilemma is Stellantis receives $40 billion. Well, I, I, I'll just say this, billions of dollars in grant money from the government to subsidize electrification. And apparently that's not enough. You now have to have a sacrificial lamb of 1,340 employees and all of their families, their benefits, that industry in Illinois, and they're going idle until they figure out what the heck is going on. I would be really upset. What What is going on, and I'm, this is not a political channel, but what is going on in this current administration that they're mandating a change from what the market is, is uh, I don't know if the market's demanding it. I mean, it, I think people are demanding this forced conversion, but the market isn't screaming, we all want electric vehicles right now. And now you've got this forced imposition, this forced policy to change, and now it's at the cost of whatever. I mean, you've got a wake of destruction of job losses, um, rising costs, China controls most of those trace minerals that make the LiPo batteries and we're subsidizing, going bankrupt, trying to go to this clean energy. I mean, I think there's gonna be a natural progression over the next 20 or 30 years. And I'm not upset about that. I'm upset that I think there's a time and a place and the market can dictate that. And when you force these policies and you force this conversion, this is what you're gonna get. And they're blaming the pandemic. They're blaming the pandemic for the supply chain and they're blaming it's exposed. And I've done videos on this before. Um, but this is a big deal because they're looking at their business model and they're going, well, you want us to go to this 2030 mandate and it is so expensive to get there that we're going to basically have to slash and burn a lot of our current business model in order to get there. Uh, I, I don't know. I'd love to hear your feedback. But this particular article uh, bothered me because here you have, a, 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 again, it's a sacrificial lamb right, to get to this electrification. And these people are upset. I mean, these people are upset that have been working 1,340, you know, plus or minus, whatever the actual number is, um, have been given notice that they're gonna be laid off in February of 2023. And, and, and February of 2023 and all of 2023 is gonna look real bad financially. Economic crisis, I think we're gonna see the recession uh, hit full. So this is, this is not gonna go well. And if we think that the cost of electrification is expensive now, wait until that hits. Wait until, uh, you know, the, the price of everything uh, 
uh, goes up another 20 or 30 percent. And then, and then it's no wonder that you try to buy an electric vehicle and they're, you know, eighty, ninety thousand dollars. Who's buying these? Um, and you throw on top of that, oh, don't charge your vehicle during peak times, and the grid's not sustainable. Um, th these are these are decisions that are snowballing and uh, are going to create a, a big, big deal. So I'm just wondering how many more announcements are we going to see where internal combustion engine plants are, are halted or stopped um, as they try to figure out how to meet the EPA's and federal government demand to go to this clean energy. It'll be an interesting, uh, interesting few years for sure. Um, anyways, you guys, uh, check it out. Um, love to hear like in our little box down below, a lot of dialogue because I'm sure there's some strong feelings on this uh, both um, on both sides. So anyways, next time we'll chat about something else, but I'd uh, love to bring you up-to-date information. Shane, guys talking cars. Till next time, take care, guys. Thanks.